Hello. So I've just got the tarp on in time. It started to rain. But you get a better idea of what I'm trying to achieve when it comes to building my shelter. So the tarp is just the perfect size in length and width. So it's got a nice overhang at the front, extra bit of overhang at the back, a little bit of hang at the sides, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to be building the sides up. It's getting there. I've just been so busy, so, so busy with other things, Oktoberfest video. That took a lot of organising, that one. Yeah, I got this tarpaulin in because it's got running through it a mesh. Okay, because what I intend to do is once I've got it built up, is for winter I'm going to pop a stove in here. So because of it having that mesh there, I can cut out a hole and it won't rip beyond that. So I've temporarily secured it around that corner, that corner around that tree there, at the back and on the sides. So there's no way now that if we did have heavy rainfall, then it's going to clump together if this was loose and uh, create a big, great big puddle on the top. It'd just roll off now and it won't blow away if we do get a sudden storm but I can stand in here perfectly comfortable so my aim is along this side here is to create a wooden bed of course we're gonna have a wall going up that side and as you've been watching me already starting up a wall going up this side here now when it comes to the entrance of this just walk out so you can see how wide it is so you've got the three beams okay so of course those two are how wide it's going to be so what I'm planning on doing is on this section here between the side beam and the middle beam is creating a wall there as well so it only be this half that's open for you to walk through of course I think when it comes to the winter months I'm going to have to a bit of tarp to cover the doorway to keep the heat in and of course once I've got it all a bit more built up on the back of the tarp itself on the other side I will be putting moss and leaves so let's take you around the back so you can have a look. It's been raining pretty heavy the last couple of days. So we've got a lot of wood there ready. As you see the back of that is quite flat so any water is going to run off of it. I mean that's just a nice size that is. And of course it looks out over there onto my fire pit. Yeah, yeah, it did start start to rain, but uh, the sun's decided to come out now, which is nice. It's always good. Right, I think I'm going to have a hot cup of chocolate. Right, so I will be using my little one tiger stove. You've only seen me use this once, actually. I really do like it. So I've moved my stump into the shelter. It's well used, as you can see. <laughs> Hey, 
as you can hear the dogs in the background. Right, so I had a look around. The twigs are absolutely awful. But I've got some wood here that I've got on my little wood stores. We'll just chop this up a bit. Some tinder card. There isn't a lot of bracken around here, but I've actually found some. So, as soon as that starts to die off a bit, I'll be getting it. This is a new purchase, this knife. I got it from springfields.co.uk. The brand is Survivor. It's got a lovely weight to it. It's a US design and it's stainless steel. I've been putting it through its paces today. And I think it's absolutely lovely. Let's put some bits of wood in the bottom. Look at that. That's good. So I'm going to be having a Whisper Hot Chocolate and I was very kindly sent by Wild Camping International a lovely alley mug I love the green on that, that's a bit of me that is and a titanium spork let's show you what this looks like it's neat little bag look at that I think that's an excellent bit of kit. Lovely. We're just waiting for that water to finish now. Yeah, so autumn is definitely on its way now. Oh dear. All that rain. I don't mind the cold. But if you're like me, it's annoying when it's rainy and cold. You'd rather have one or the other. So, I'm glad I got this started today. I've been so busy with other things, as you know. Yeah, so it's good. At least there's a bit of a dry area now here to come to straight away which is going to help so I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing and your support I'd also like to congratulate the three winners of my giveaway that was for hitting 100 subscribers since then 
wasn't that long ago I'm now over 260 I believe so thank you ever so much again viewers from Instagram thank you the numbers on there keep on going up I really do appreciate it so I'm hopeful I'm gonna get out this weekend have another wild camp it's not going to be a themed wild camp it's just going to be a normal one and I'm undecided what tent I'm going to use <laughs> I can't use this just yet I haven't built it all <sighs> but it's definitely nice being back out here last weekend it was a lot of work to get the Oktoberfest video sorted out a lot of work and at the last minute my work changed what they wanted me to do so I had to rush off the next day unfortunately got that rain coming now I've got this done just in time the girls have knackered themselves out it's good, it's good for them but they're muddy but they're due a bath anyway so I'll tell you what as you know my videos get uploaded on a Wednesday so that gives you three and a bit days to tell me what tent you want me to use so I can either use my one Tigress Tiger Den I can use my One Tigress Smoky Hut Tent I could use my Dutch Army Surplus Tent I do have another little tent indoors that I haven't actually used I bought it a couple of years ago from Eurohike so you've got four choices there put in the comments below what tent you want me to use next and I'll use it no matter what the weather tell you what definitely in the colder months having an alley mug you can hug Ooh, get that warmth from it's not overly cold today but it's definitely chilly that's why I put my state detective hat on I've got a nice fleece on keep me warm because when you're out here and you're moving around and you do sweat a little because you're getting hot as soon as you stop to make a cup of tea or coffee or hot chocolate that's it you can feel that cold setting in but with a nice fleece on a proper under layer perfectly fine right guys so before the weather absolutely hammers down and gets these muddy girls even more muddier than what they are I'm just going to pack away and head off you can hear the pheasants in the background Holly is very interested Right guys, so thank you ever so much for joining me again. I'm going to get these girls home so they can have a bath. The state of me as well, I'm definitely going to need a shower. So I know it was a short video today, but I've been a little bit limited on time this week. But I'm going to be getting out the weekend. So don't forget, in those comments below, 
pop down what tent you'd like me to use and I will use it for you. Holly, you want to go home? Thanks ever so much and if you enjoyed this video, I'm Katie, Hiddenwood Bushcraft, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you everybody, take care of yourselves, until next time, goodbye.